Today, I want to show you how to set up the cube or four points transition in Apple Keynote for Mac and for iPad. If you watch the transitions video I have, this is a transition I would only use for your main points. And there are only six total slides you can use for this to be believable. Let me show you what I mean. We'll start by opening Apple's Keynote on the Mac. I've got a title slide set in here, but we want to demonstrate this with six slides. And so I've got a finder window open, six images ready to go. I'm going to drag and select all of them and move them over here to the navigator, drag and drop. And now I have my six full screen images. In here, I want to see this animator inspector. If you don't see that for some reason, go up into view, inspector, and choose animate. Now this is open. Again, one of the little hacks we have is to select a slide, right click it, and choose select all. Our basic transition settings are going to be the same for every slide. This is a quicker way to set it up, and then we can go in and tweak the little changes. Go over here to add an effect. We're going to go down under flip, spin, and scale to find cube, and we'll select it. By default, it has this bounce on. We're going to turn that off. We want this to look more professional. If you want to have some fun with your presentation, you can leave it on. And duration, we're going to drop it down just to one second instead of 1.5. That's enough time to move through there. A general transition I like to do is 0.7 seconds. Because I want people to actually notice this one a little bit more, we increase it to one. As I've said before, this is something you want to use with possibly a title slide, four points, and your conclusion. And then everything else would be a cut or dissolve. If we start with the first slide, I recommend getting a, a cube, maybe even a Rubik's cube, and some post-it notes to help keep yourself organized. Your first one's your title. It's like looking at the top of the square. So we look at the animation inspector. We want to change this from bottom to top. And if you preview that, it's like you're taking the top of the cube and flipping it up so people can see the face of it. And that's ready to go. Now these next three, we're going to be turning the cube sideways in all the same direction. We'll tap on that, hold the command key down, and select the next two. Now we'll go over here and leave it right to left. One second. If any of that isn't the way it looks on the screen right here, make those changes. Then go to your fourth point. Now you're going to go from one of the faces of the cube to the bottom of the cube. So again, we're going to change this bottom to top. Keep it at one second. And now it's ready to go. Play through it. We flip it up, we turn it once, twice, three times. There's no more faces left on that part of the cube, so we're going to show you the bottom. And there's your conclusion. And that's how you use and set up the cube transition on Apple's Keynote for Mac. Now let's look at how to set that up on the iPad. We'll open up Apple's Keynote on the iPad. The little trick we have here is to go to the bottom and bring up Apple's photos side by side. I've got my six images that I want to use, so I'm going to hit select and select all, or I could hand select those, drag them over to the navigator and drop them. Now tap on a slide, tap again and choose select all from the menu that pops up. If you don't see a, a button for animation and transition at the top of your screen like I have, then simply tap on a slide again and go to transition from the menu. At the bottom, Go to Add Transition and slide over to these special ones where you see Cube listed. And select Cube. I'll demonstrate for you. Tap back on your slide. And again, we're going to make those general settings. So go to the bottom, turn Bounce off, slide your duration over from 1.5 down to 1. And then here, it's a little bit different. Bottom to top is called from bottom. So we'll set that one. And now that is ready to go. We're actually not using this title slide in our presentation. We're starting with this slide. So if we look at our transition, one second, bottom to top, cube, ready to go. Look at our next slide. These need to be right to left. And so we're going to tap on one, hold our finger there, and then tap the other two so that slides one, two, and three, or our first three points are selected. Go to the bottom and change the direction. And 
right to left on here they call from right. And now that is set and ready to go. Tap on your fourth point slide. That one should be bottom to top, which is from bottom, ready to go, and you have your final slide. And so now, we go up here and click Done. When you play your presentation, top to front, we turn second side, third side, fourth side, and now flip up to the bottom. Like I've said before, I recommend getting a cube or a Rubik's Cube and some Post-it notes and putting those on there to help keep you organized as you put this together. And if you use it this way, it makes your points believable. This also works if you only have two or three points instead of four. Just when you get to that last slide, make sure you're choosing to go bottom to top or from bottom. And that's how you use and set up the cube transition on Apple's Keynote for Mac and for iPad. Thank you.